Good evening, YouTube. Home Theater Joe here. And as usual, I hope y'all are happy, healthy, and doing well, especially this holiday season. I'd like to talk about Yamaha Board Exchange Program. I have finally gotten my act together. It has been quite some time. Um, the program has been available for a little while now, but I finally got into it. Um, so where I'm at is I'm waiting for the next email to tell me how to proceed with shipping and whatnot. Side note, uh, United Radio is the company that Yamaha has partnered with to do this um, complimentary board exchange program. This, of course, affects the RX-A2A models, RX-V4A, RX-V6A, and TSR700 models, which, of course, is the one I own. Um, I was expecting to have to pay shipping at least two, but they will pay two and fro. Good on them. Uh, also, let me give you this little detail. Participating in this complimentary board exchange program requires you to send your current AV receiver to us with turnaround times expected at 6 to 10 business days includes shipping times. So they're going to get this thing in as soon as possible. Uh, they're going to swap that board and they're going to get it out. Again, good on them. Let me just say thank you, Yamaha, for trying to stand behind your product from 2020 and 2021. Um, I do appreciate it. Let's get to the bad news. These HDMI boards will be swapped out for a chip that is only capable or max out at 24 gigabits a second, which will give you 4K 120AB and 8K 60B 2.1. What does that mean? Well, 4K 120AB is obviously limited because it's capped at 24 gigabits a second and it cannot shoot out a signal at 4K 120 at 10 bits. So it would appear that we'll be limited to an 8-bit video signal at 4K 120. And of course, 8K 60B is a compressed 8K 60, not uncompressed. So what do we have here? Well... It's supposed to be a 40 gigabit per second chip, right? That's what HDMI 2.1 is. Well, <laughs> silly us. There's actually two HDMI 2.1 chips. There is a 24 gigabit per second and a 40 gigabit per second. <laughs> Wait a minute. I just lied to you again. Actually, they're all 2.1 HDMI. Yeah, 2022 moving forward. Everything's HDMI 2.1. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. Can you sense my sarcasm there? I was going to use another word, but we'll go with sarcasm. So, you know what, Yamaha? Uh, I appreciate. I, th I think Yamaha has stood behind uh, their products from 2020 and 2021. Um, in my estimation, you know, I appreciate it the most, I guess. So, good on them. I will be sending the receiver in to them uh, to be fixed. Um, yeah, so we will see how that works. I will, of course, document the, uh, the process. Um, you know, I do have a video about... Uh, updating it and then still not being able to receive signal um of course getting the black screen but um yeah we've been through all that so i think uh yeah this is just a good time to say that uh, i will keep you updated and um yeah i hope every day everybody's ho uh, holidays have been well and happy thus far and of course i hope you all have a great new year yeah so if you have any questions or comments, good, bad, or indifferent, you can go ahead and put them down below. They are greatly encouraged and greatly appreciated. You know, only helps us to get smarter, which makes us stronger. Knowledge is power, information sharing, that whole deal. I guess we can wrap a medium-sized bow on this one now. You know what time it is. As always, thank you for listening. Be good. Be safe. Boom.